Berberis is a large genus of deciduous and evergreen shrubs from 1 a Euro 5 m tall found throughout the temperate and subtropical regions of the world. Species diversity is greatest in South America, Africa and Asia. Europe and North America have native species as well. The most well-known Berberis species is the so-called European Barbary, Berberis vulgaris, which is common in Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. Many of the species have spines on the shoots and along the margins of the leaves. Description: The genus Berberis has dimorphic shoots, long shoots which form the structure of the plant, and short shoots only 1 a Euro 2 mm long. The leaves on long shoots are non-photosynthetic, developed into three spine thorns 3 a Euro 30 mm long. The bud in the axle of each thorn leaf then develops a short shoot with several normal, photosynthetic leaves. These leaves are 1 a Euro 10 cm long, simple, and either entire, or with spiny margins. Only on young seedlings do leaves develop on the long shoots, with the adult foliage style developing after the young plant is 1 a Euro 2 years old. Many deciduous species, such as Berberis thumburger or B. vulgaris, are noted for their attractive pink or red autumn color. In some evergreen species from China, such as B. candidula or B. veruculosa, the leaves are brilliant white beneath, a feature valued horticulturally. Some horticultural variants of B. thumburger have dark red to violet foliage. The flowers are produced singly or in racemes of up to 20 on a single flower head. They are yellow or orange, 3 euro 6 mm long, with six sepals and six petals in alternating whorls of three, the sepals usually colored like the petals. The fruit is a small berry 5 a Euro 15 mm long, ripening red or dark blue, often with a pink or violet waxy surface bloom. In some species, they may be long and narrow, but are spherical in other species. Some authors regard the compound-leaved species as a separate genus, Mahonia. There are no consistent differences between the two groups other than the compound leaves, and studies suggest that the simple-leaved group is very likely polyphyletic. Ecology Berberis species are used as food plants by the larvae of some Lepidoptera species, including the moth's Barbary carpet moth, and mottled pug. Berberis vulgaris and Berberis canadensis serve as alternate host species of the wheat rust fungus, a grass-infecting rust fungus that is a serious fungal disease of wheat and related grains. For this reason, cultivation of B. vulgaris is prohibited in many areas, and imports to the United States are forbidden. The North American B. canadensis, native to Appalachia and the Midwest United States, was nearly eradicated for this reason, and is now rarely seen extant, with the most remaining occurrences in the Virginia mountains. Some Berberis species have become invasive when planted outside of their native ranges, including B. glaucocarpa and B. darwinia in New Zealand, and green-leaved B. thumburger in much of the eastern United States. Cultivation Several species of Berberis are popular garden shrubs, grown for such features as ornamental leaves, yellow flowers, or red or blue blackberries. Numerous cultivars and hybrids have been selected for garden use. Low-growing Berberis plants are also commonly planted as pedestrian barriers. Taller-growing species are valued for crime prevention. Being very dense, viciously spiny shrubs, they make very effective barriers impenetrable to burglars. For this reason they are often planted below potentially vulnerable windows, and used as hedges. Species in cultivation include, B. darwinia, B. dictyopilla, B. juliani, B. thumburger, B. veruculosa. The following hybrid selections have gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit, B. Jorge, B. X. Lollagensis apricot queen, B. X. media red jewel, B. X. otowensis f. Papuria superba, B. X. stenopilla corallina compacta, B. X. stenopilla lindel. Culinary uses, Berberis vulgaris grows in the wild in much of Europe and West Asia. It produces large crops of edible berries, rich in vitamin C, but with a sharp acid flavor. In Europe for many centuries the berries were used for culinary purposes in ways comparable to how citrus peel might be used. Today in Europe they are very infrequently used. The country in which they are used the most frequently today is Iran where they are referred to as Zirishk in Persian. 
The berries are common in Iranian cuisine such as in rice pilafs and as a flavoring for poultry meat. Due to their inherent sour flavor, they are sometimes cooked with sugar before being added to Persian rice. Persian market sells irishk dried. In Russia they are sometimes used in jams and its extract is a common flavoring for soft drinks and candies. Berberis micropilla and B. darwinia are two species found in Patagonia in Argentina and Chile. Their edible purple fruits are used for jams and infusions. Anyone who tries a berry is said to be certain to return to Patagonia. The Caliphate and Mackay are symbols of Patagonia. Traditional medicine, the dried fruit of Berberis vulgaris is used in herbal medicine. The chemical constituents include isocyanolone alkaloids, especially berberin. One study reports that it is superior to meat form in treating polycystic ovary syndrome. Other uses, historically, yellow dye was extracted from the stem, root, and bark. Gallery. References. External links, Platt, Karen, Gold Fever Descriptions of Golden or Yellow-Leaved Berberis HTTP, www.karenplatt.co.uk